Honorata was enslaved as a sex slave for a year and two months. You know, during the war, soldiers were abusing us. And we were not raped, only uh, they find you and they rape you, but we were raped after being tortured. When we first met her, she talked about how she was shy, how she never talked to anybody, how her husband sort of stopped talking to her and her children stopped talking to her, some of them. And now since she's been on Women for Women International's program, she's, she's a completely like a different person. From the examples we got from the trainings, I said that despite what happened to me, I'm still a woman. I'm, I still have some value and I have to give my voice to speak about what happened to me. And that's why I decided to say something. In March 8th, uh, International Women's Day, she spoke to the governor in Bukavu here and told to him about what happened to her and what happened to other women in here. She talked about women who were buried alive. She talked about women who were raped in front of the whole village. Um, and who were made example out to horrify the other villagers. And now she is dedicating her life to take to helping other women break their silence and talking how it is important for women to unite with each other, to bring a sisterhood together and to support each other. She's also started a small association where she is uh, making tie-dye and this is the dress she's wearing is actually part of the, the materials that she has produced with her association, with her business, <coughs> where they are selling uh, the products. <laughs> It's actually quite scary outside. Uh, they are fighting outside right now. We continue to hear um, bullets uh, there. The UN is outside, the police is outside, and I think demonstrators are outside. Um, but we are here in our safe haven, <laughs> talking to Harata, who is talking about the importance of breaking one's silence and talking to the world about what's happened to women. The rape is still continuing in Congo, and we do need to stop it, to stop what happened to women in Congo, and what's still happening.